the world of TFNN, we want to go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product, managing director at Direction Chairs. And needless to say, folks, if you haven't been over there, I'm sure most of you have, have been, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the banner right at the very top. You hit that banner, bring you over to Direction. They get a great newsletter, and they have a huge amount of information out there. Dave, happy holidays. Hey, happy holidays to you, too. Happy to be back. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. And... I'd like to start right off. You know, it's amazing. You know, you've always done a great job bringing product into direction. And, you know, I've been watching your, your TSLS and TSLL. Now, what these are, folks, this, this is, they brought, they got these going um, right on time, actually. <laughs> um, so talk to, talk to me. You know, it's so intriguing. So with the TSLSs, um, folks, is a shot, okay? Um, TSLS, yeah. And you know what I was looking at, Dave, which is amazing, that Musk has such a following that there's still people, there's almost twice as many longs as there is shots in those funds, right? Yeah, so uh, thanks for having me back, and you're exactly right. So these are securities that offer, bull, uh, in the case of TSLL, yes. one and a half times the daily performance of the common shares of Tesla. Yes. And then... TSLS, as you noted, which has really taken off right. over the last couple of weeks, is a one-for-one -one inverse with Tesla on a daily basis. Right. And to your point, Elon Musk has built a cult of personality around himself, around nearly everything he touches. But here's the challenge that I think even the Tesla bulls are waking up to is, uh, you know, Musk has come out and talked about that there wasn't going to be more share uh, share shit excuse me, share sales of Tesla to fund Twitter, which is seemingly becoming a debacle. And now Tesla keeps getting hit on it. It's down, you know, remarkably. Oh, yes. It's still the world's largest auto manufacturer of our market cap, but the performance has been slammed. So what we're seeing is a lot of folks are really, you know, they're, the bulls out there are hitting TSLL. That's where we saw the initial asset growth. Yes. But as noted, now more people are really saying, hey, what's going on here? I might still be a long-term bull, but I can use that bear fund, that inverse TSLS, to hedge my exposure. And this is why I'm bringing this up, folks. Okay, if you're watching the screen, uh, the bottom line is that you know, well, even right at directions, you want to go over there because I, I know there's a lot of Tesla bulls. And if you are, if you just want to, you know, kind of go delta neutral, this is a great way of going delta neutral. Okay. Um, because there's no doubt they've taken a beating. Um, and it, it's just so intriguing to me that just the way that it's still set up that, you know, people, hey, we know a market's a market. That, that's the bottom line. You know, so as we're kicking into the end of the year, then going, for, now, do you see any differences in your, in, in, in your funds and the leverage and in inverse ETFs as we go into the end of the year? Well, I think what's interesting is that we are seeing, particularly today, a notable decrease in volume. So right. really last Friday, and I, and, I, and I know you spent a lot of time talking about this, may have been the last kind of big volume day of the year, barring some sort of exogenous event, because that was your quadruple witching, index rebalances, what have you. Sure. And now I think traders are a bit on autopilot mode. At least folks that we're talking to are just trying to get to the Christmas holiday, the New Year holiday, and, and hope for a better 2023. But- you know, we, we still, we're in a bit of a dearth of economic data here as well. I think markets are going to remain sort of flat and volatile here, you know, with, until we get into the heart of earnings season in mid-January. So really, you know, we, we know what the Fed's doing here. We know what the CPI look like. We're not necessarily seeing any big changes here, although we are definitely seeing an uptick, to your point, in interest in bear funds across the board. Maybe traders have finally woken up and said, hey, this is not looking, you know, I don't think we're going to be seeing any pivot from Powell anytime soon. So that's really the biggest, I think, takeaway from last week for our lineup. Yes. We are seeing a massive increase in activity with Sox S, that's your bear semiconductor fund, um, but also really an increase in, in, uh, in the single stock bear funds uh, uh, for Tesla, Apple, and, and then now Microsoft in particular. And I find that really interesting. Um, because Microsoft has been Huge. a bit more of a stable stock. And if that really turns, then I think, you know, look out below for maybe potentially the broader market. Sure. And, you know, something to keep in mind, folks, Dave and I had talked about this before. But, you know, you get the end of the year, you get the beginning of the year. As you come over to the direction 
site, right? Something to keep in mind. You know, remember about five months ago, Dave, where we, you have enough funds right now that you could actually build a portfolio, okay? Yeah, we've been going down, but the bottom line, you're going to have a lot of time for the next couple of weeks, okay? And in a cool way, you know, go over there, look at them because you can, you know, like four years ago, we couldn't do this, Dave. Now, now you can build, you know, your portfolio inside of your funds. Yeah, no, that, that, that's absolutely correct. So if someone's looking to build a trading portfolio, you, you have the means to do so. You can look, you could, you could have exposure to tech, semiconductors. Right. You can, you know, do the same as we know our mining fund for years were really the leaders. I encourage folks, if you know some of our names, either know the bear fund, learn that ticker in this market, yep. or see what else may complement where you're all, where you are already trading. All right, and on that portfolio, folks, we're talking a one-to-one, -one, but it's really cool. So get over to the direction, go to TFNN, hit that banner. Dave, you have a great holiday, a safe one, man. We look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Thank you, talk soon. Thanks, man, bye-bye. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.